Welcome back to Twin Cities Live. So, Elizabeth, I don't know if you've heard this before, but, you know, Edina is known for a great many things. This is what you recite to me every time you walk in the office. So, Elizabeth, I'm here to talk to you about Edina. <laughs> great schools, I know. great people, That's and, true. of course, great food, That's and our good. very own Betsy Moline. Mm-hmm. They also have a new restaurant. It's called Starling, and they, they are adding to that reputation. There is a, it's definitely a destination. Mm -hmm. So today we have Chef Wyatt Evans joining us to show us how he makes these steamed pork buns that you can get at Starling. Wyatt, nice to have you here. Thanks for having me. This yeah. is really exciting, opening a new restaurant. What were you hoping for? What did you think was kind of missing from Edina from the food scene? Uh, yeah, a little bit of a food desert in the area where we are. Oh. So we were hoping to really kind of uh, provide something for the for the residents of the building that we're in, but yeah. also the neighborhood people, um, and, and just bringing something that's a little bit different than, uh, than, than what the neighborhood has. Okay. Yeah, well, you guys are in a great area. As I mentioned, I saw this, this whole building being constructed for the last year. Uh, so just to let everybody know, it is off basically at the intersection section of 50th and 100. The right. old Perkins. The old Perkins. That yeah. was an institution was now. Good when Perkins. we heard locally that that Perkins was going to be shut down, everybody was very sad about that. Well, but you guys, you guys, it's a great building and you guys, uh, we're, we're happy to have you guys here. We do brunch on Saturday and Sunday too, so you can still get your eggs. That's good to know. <laughs> okay, so what do you have going on in the pan? And when people think about these steamed pork buns, they, you know, maybe that's not what they're envisioning. Like, you know, sure. you think about like dumplings, gyoza right. or soup dumplings. What are these? Yeah, so these are uh, steamed bao buns, and we've got some pork belly crisping up in the pan here. Uh, pork belly that we cure for 24 hours, sugar and salt, and then we slow roast it till it gets nice and tender. Um, we're going to take that into our buns with a little bit of hoisin sauce. Um, and then we're gonna include some house-made pickles in there. What are We've the got, buns made out of? Uh, mostly rice flour. Yeah. Um, yeah, rice flour, a little bit of a uh, little bit of milk, a little bit of eggs in there as well. Yeah, um, they're really soft, really squishy, um, really good uh, foil for the sauce. I know it and looks sour. it looks it sort of enough. fun and and almost yeah. like they're not real. Yeah. And it's sort of like this fondant on a cake <laughs> or, or or like a you know like a play doh that your play -Doh. kids are playing with. I know yeah. but fondant tastes terrible and the buns are. <laughs> I mean, the fondant, you're like, get, can I just get some buttercream here? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, they're soft and squishy, and they're kind of just a good, like, neutral foil for the uh, for the ingredients. So in this case, we're going to be adding um, our pork belly, uh, okay. pickled daikon and carrot, some uh, house pickled cucumbers, yes. cilantro, and mint for good measure, so you get all that nice freshness oh, in there Oh, we just well. talked about mint. I know. Didn't realize there's so many different varieties there of mints. Are, we were trying all sorts that I've been growing. Oh, were Yeah, yeah yesterday. What kind are you growing? I'm growing orange mint, chocolate mint, Ooh. mojito mint, and then traditional peppermint. Okay. And so we did like a little taste uh -huh. test with Ben after I harvested some cool. yesterday, which is really fun. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, because there's so many different varieties. What I always think about with the quick pickling that I love that you do is like really fine, like finely cut cucumbers and finely cut carrots. Yeah. It's, it's like the texture is so good. Yeah, yeah. I mean, uh, somebody takes a long time shredding those carrots every yeah. day. Um, you know, we make it from scratch. And it's kind of like, uh, uh, reminds me of like a banh mi. I don't know if you ever have a yeah. uh, banh mi. The same kind of style of pickled daikon and carrot that we use there. Um, you want to give uh, Play-Doh oh, yeah. up a shot? Oh, you wanna, yeah. You want to you wanna have your... Uh, Play-Doh. Yeah, oh, yeah. Try, try Play, and see play if we can get it just, just like the other one. just going to grab one or what? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go for it. I believe in you. <laughs> I'll, just, I'll just go ahead and just take this He's guy. Oh, there you go. We don't even... Up we got nicely, but we got a plate right here. I know. That's, I know. You're like you're such a dad move. Who's like, why don't we just eat right out Have of the pot? Look, yeah. when you're making plate. mac and cheese, you just eat right <laughs> out of the actual skillet or the pot. Uh, let me ask you, so so you have these on the menu, which yeah. I'm going to get in this here in a second. Like, what else on the menu that you get excited about? I know you have a lot of great items, but what do you like? Mm. Yeah, yeah, globally inspired food, so lots of things from all over the world. I think the things I'm the most excited about, I love the yakisoba uh, that we do. We've got a, a big wok range that we have at the restaurant, so um, wow. really fast cooking. Uh, a lot of big flavors there. We do a turmeric fried chicken sandwich that I love, mm. too. So Yum. kind of a sleeper, uh, soon-to-be viral chicken sandwich that we do over I can there. imagine. check it out. This is delicious. Okay, I love these bao buns. I know, I love them. Sometimes the buns, these buns you can get places are a little bit like chewy and hard. This is really the perfect texture on these guys. Yeah, we love them. And then that brightness of the herbs is so good with it. Are these an appetizer or are you doing these as like a small plate or what is, what's happening? Yeah, so we kind of have our menu broken down into small plates and large plates. Mm -hmm. These are a small plate. Um, we sell tons of them. They're on our lunch menu or dinner menu. They're on our happy hour menu. They're on our brunch menu. They're all over. So. Oh, yeah, well you mentioned the brunch menu. Like yeah. what, what do you love about the brunch menu? That's Saturday Saturdays and Sundays only on the brunch? Yeah, that's correct. We open at 10 on Saturdays and Sundays. Brunch menu, a couple of, a couple of fun things that, that cross over like the, like the pork buns. Uh, we do a great burger with fried egg on top. 
Um, there's a dish called chilber, which is like a Turkish dish of poached eggs and a flavored yogurt mm -hmm. that's really, really tasty too. Did you always love to cook? Yeah, yeah, I kind of was a, a bit of a latchkey kid growing up, yeah. so I learned to cook out of necessity and mm -hmm. uh, just made a career out of it. First thing that you mastered, what was it? What was the first Ooh. thing that you were like, I am really good at this? Tartar sauce from scratch was oh, the first no. thing that I did that was kind of like the moment where I thought maybe this is something that I can do. I am intrigued. Yeah. Okay, well, oh. you're doing a great job. Yeah. Well, thank you very much. Congratulations. You're awesome I don't know, so I'm good. just like holding on to this little, little pillowy goodness here. Listen, this is a 5,000 calorie day for me. <laughs> I mean, I, I know, am and I am liking it, you guys. So we posted <laughs> Chef Wyatt's pork one recipe on TwinCiesLive.com, plus a link to Starling so you can make your very own reservation. All right, we'll be right back.